Hello and welcome Woo! to Buckshot Sideshow, another episode of the greatest Irish live internet game show on a Tuesday night in the Shagan world. I'm your host, Tom O'Mahony, and joining me this evening, we have four amazing comedians that were actually available on a Tuesday. Let's go over and meet the gang. Well, what's the crack, everybody? How are you doing? My radiant. Fantastic. Kind of drunk. The enthusiasm is fucking pouring out of the screen. That's what I have to say. Thanks very much for that. No, it's it's my it's my Wi-Fi. My enthusiasm is huge. My Wi-Fi is just kind of taking the edge off, you know. That's I, I didn't know if I was supposed to be still shushing. I, I'm so if if you somebody shush, shush, me, I, I take it very seriously when I'm shushed. I'm so. looking forward yeah. to your levels of professionalism tonight because <laughs> Cummins is the polar fucking opposite to that. If you want to, if you want to <laughs> see what not to be, okay. Don't worry, Sharon. You'll oh, yeah, worry. let's talk. Let's talk about professionalism. The only show in the entire world with no fucking theme tune. So we stand in silence like someone died until you appear and talk. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean like ZoomParty.ie? Where nobody dies on ZoomParty.ie. Yes, they do. You can never watch yourself. Now let's go over and beat. Team one, you can hear him shout, you can hear him screaming, and you don't even need the fucking internet for that. It's Steve Cummins, everybody. Hey, Tommy boy. How has your week been, Steve? You all right? You're full of I curry right you know, now, are you? I have, I have had, and this is in no way a reference to the recent furore around Tampax, but I've had the painters and decorators in all day. <laughs> <laughs> when you said it earlier, I went, that's definitely a euphemism for some weird shit his wife is into. No, it wasn't. And I, here's the thing, it was, we, he was doing our kitchen, right? And, uh, it's my domain. It's, I do all the cooking, so I love my kitchen. And I picked a turquoise color, and it turned out spectacularly well. And I didn't tell my wife. She was actually at work today in town, and she came home to the whole thing done. I am basically gay from the waist up. I have amazing taste in color. I'm fantastic. Turquoise. But that's what turquoise. they say. The, hard, the hardest thing about decorating a kitchen, you know, with turquoise is how do you tell your wife that you're actually gay? But yeah, now we know. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Steve, Steve's wife has known that for a long time. Oh, I think we yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. the off. I won't, even, I won't even finish it with a cliche joke about penis and breath. But, you know, <laughs> let's, just, let's just throw that one out. Please there. don't. <laughs> and joining Steve for the first time ever on Buckshot Sideshow, it's the other half of Julie and Fred. It's Fred Starcook. How you keep Fred? <laughs> Oh, great to hear! Great to talk to you, Tom. Yeah, mighty, mighty. I'm delighted. I'm Steve Stevens' co-captain. Like, <laughs> oh, you heard that, Steve? Delighted. I am more than happy to 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 sit in the subs bench, and you just pull out. Do you know? I'm. All, I, I can almost bet you're going to pull out a musical instrument at some stage. <laughs> Mr. One musical Prop's instrument. Comment. One you musical instrument per nostril. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't turn my mouth. Don't turn my mouth. Is there an earthquake happening in uh, in County Kerry, or what's going on, Fred? Just screen, the screen is moving all over the shop. Just I seem to be I just seem to be off Kitler with the camera, so uh, I I think I've leveled it out now. Like, off, 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 did you say off Kitler? He did Kittler. say off Kitler, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, off Kitler, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it's true. It's Kilter, you mad. It, well, no, you it, it could be an you don't know. thing, lads. Yeah, it could yeah, be yeah. Thing. Continually this checking is out. Kerry dialect. Happening. You've been in Kerry right. too long. That's the problem. <laughs> Next thing you know, it'll be the hat, and you'll be saying, everyone should drive home for the pub. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over and meet team two. Ooh. Oh, oh Jimbo. I'm very Excuse close me. To Hi. Oh. oh, Jimbo. Come Ever the professionals. Drinking water. Anybody else with a nice <laughs> tall glass of water? That's what I enjoy on a Tuesday night. That's what I recommend everybody join, enjoy on a Tuesday night, because I'm Thank not from Kerry. I don't think you should drink and drive. Even if it's a tractor. <laughs> it's all right, Jim. You don't drive anything, so that's fine. Damn you right, man. Look in your eyes, Jim. The same. You know those newscasters where the kid comes in and asks for a biscuit or something behind you? You're like, oh, Jesus, I'm alive. They're set them. up. They're all fake now. I don't believe any of them anymore. The first fake one was news? good. And yeah, it's all fucking fake. <laughs> I like <laughs> it. Lot. Kanye 2020. They're just hiring children, small children, to run in behind them now at this point, I think. Just Ooh. turn around and scream, get back on that altar. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody who's, who's, who's new, this is, of course, another new member of the Bookshot family. It is Sharon Mannion. How you doing, Ooh. Sharon? Hi. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. And thanks for putting me on Jim's team and not Steve's. That was very yeah. Generous. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Steve. You hear God, that? God right. bless affirmative yeah. action, Sharon. We're, we're yeah. Not yeah. Happy. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, I'm not even the first woman to be on this, which is and just... And you're barely like, black. Yeah, 
I know. But she does have a limp. She has a limp as well. So, you know, that we're getting I, a grand I have, I have two limps, actually. Both. <laughs> Which actually, even, ironically, kind of evens me out. So it means I walk. I walk steadily. <laughs> That's just a Ross Common thing. But sure, look at <laughs> There'd be lots of this. All right, sure. Do you know what? Uh, let's get around to kicking off the show. But before we do, whatever platform you're watching on, of course, the, uh, whether it be YouTube, Twitter, i.e. fucking Periscope, whatever the fuck that is. And the Facebook page, feel free to leave comments. We'll see them on the side. We will periodically mention you out. Of course, the owl staples themselves. Anne-Marie is there. Anne-Marie. Uh, glad, glad Rory is missing. <laughs> Should right. be smooth sailing tonight. Never throw a word, said Anne-Marie. That sabotaging bastard last week. Lads, do not press share screen, whatever you do. <laughs> Fucking Rory. Wait, what happened guitar. last week? Oh, yeah, what oh, happened? Oh, oh. I, I'll, I'll say it in a minute. So, Dave, of course, Dave Walsh is on board. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, for hi, that. Dave. Dave, come on. Hi, Dave. Yeah. Dave, you really <laughs> don't know comedy. Dave. James Elliott is James over Trump. there. <laughs> James Elliott. He wants to be one of those YouTuber kids. <laughs> this shit is not funny. Who is that Mexican in the picture? Oh, he must be. I don't know. He Here's must... the question Why does Jim Elliott have one of his reviews as his Twitter profile? <laughs> 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 oh lord right are you all ready to kick off the show yes well, not quite but you the know the answer was no it makes no odds we're kicking off the fucking show so let's jump straight <laughs> into round one it is of course who said this ingenious i know who said this is simple enough in that we took uh, famous quotes slash phrases from famous people around the world and we leave them up to the hilarious folk of each team to find out who actually said this. Doesn't matter if they get them wrong or right. Having to crack is what it's all about. <laughs> so let's go straight to team one, if you wouldn't mind, please. And let's see your first who said this. So fiction writing is great because you can make up almost anything. What kind of a knob said that? <laughs> Whoever that guy is that keeps writing the speeches for Varadkar and steals bits out of movies like Mean Girls and... Godfather and like, don't ever ask me about my business, Simon, and shit like I think, that. I think I think it was Bertie Ahern about his autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody else actually get bothered by fucking Veronica fucking pilfering stuff out of movies? Not that he was pilfering it, but you're like, are you dicking about over the fucking virus, you can't? But no, but why didn't he? Why did he pick? Why didn't he pick cool movies? Do you know what I mean? There's so much better quotes he could have used. Ah, uh, he did pick a bit from Terminator. If he that Ezekiel was... twenty five seventeen this. Oh, you know that would I mean? be yeah, yeah. And then fair. just punched fucking Michal Martin right in the head. I would oh, think a, a good scrap would be good. I would, I would enjoy a Can good scrap. Can you imagine how shit that? He could have used, he could have used my left foot. Like COVID, <laughs> he could have used like COVID. You'd be heartbroken. Sometimes I think you are me heart. Would you be heartbroken? <laughs> All right, so fiction. Is this writing. a misprint by any chance? You know the way. Uh, you know the way the, is great because you can make up almost anything. You mean did yeah, a woman did write it? it? No, but you always have. You always have misprints. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like the spelling yeah. on this show is a brutal. Could it be friction writing? <laughs> Which is basically Michael J. Fox trying to sign the check. <laughs> I thought you were talking oh, about. God, Steve, yeah. don't go after oh, don't Michael J. Don't go after Martin. That, that is so 1956. Like, I know. Yeah, God. Is it, is it a, dictionary what about writing? It's a diction right when you get kilter stuck with a kilter. <laughs> <laughs> and you're one step right. away from Hitler. I'm going to push, push I'm you for an the answer. answer. I'm Michael. Who, who? Go on, give it a go, so Fred. Is it, is it John McGahern? John McGahern. Did John McGahern. Fiction writer. Fiction oh, no. writing is great because you can make up almost anything. Is Paris it John Milton. McGahern? Let's see who said it. Where's my shit? Oh, it was a Whoa! I couldn't be further apart. She is the McGahern of the. <laughs> she of is. York. Of Slovenia. <laughs> Look at those two Aryan children beside her, and they're going to grow up to be such great. Oh, Remember Children of the Corn? It was a great yeah. movie, wasn't it? it was <laughs> I think that's the Kelly family there. Do you remember the Kelly family? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the early days of Crystal Swing. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, so let's go over to team two and let's see your first who said this. Right, here we go. What do we got? 
Okay, so your first one up is, I'm so obsessed with you, I want to skin you and wear you like Versace. Oh my God, that's my husband, Danny, says this (laughs) all the time. (laughs) Whoever shot Versace. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, Versace was murdered. It was whoever did that. that. That's who said that. This is this is actually me when I'm in pennies looking at anything that's like under three euro, basically. <laughs> Particularly, is, what, what, what happens to women when they walk through the door of pennies? It's just it's the possibilities, you know. That's it's, it's just, that just... <laughs> like you. I mean, you know, I feel like I can I can make something of myself. You know what I mean? That's is what it, pennies is it, make me feel like. Is it pennies that succumbed to COVID, or was that is that Debenhams? Oh, Who didn't make it? Debenhams. Mm. I, I can't see, I mean, even if there was a, a, a full-on apocalypse, pennies would still be there handing out knickers for, you know, three. So they're like they're today. like the cockroach of retail. They will Absolutely. survive the apocalypse and you can't <laughs> yeah. kill them. Imagine I get it. A whole, a whole, you know, a whole gang of girl cockroaches losing their mind in the middle of it. Pennies. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And it's not just it's not just for girls, pennies, you know, it's it's for men too, guys. Can I get I like six pairs of these you, shoes, please? Where you like it feels. I feel like I'm. I have. By the way, if I if I'm if I start whispering my answers here, it's because my kids just woke up going, "Why is Mammy shouting downstairs?" So um, you're in the answers. Sure. Answer I may have to participate in the quiz like this. That's fine. In a creepy, creepy way. So you don't yeah. have to holler like Steve does. I'm yeah. so obsessed with you. I want to skin you and wear you like Versace. Who Can said, you pass this back to us? If you don't, gonna, yes. Every yes. American in KFC. Fred, you're so obsessed you with me. Do you want to? If you're going to say McGahern again. No, no, no. Can I? Can, can I give an answer? If I try. Go ahead. Let's let's hear it. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to give is my, it, my Prince it, Charles. <laughs> is it Prince Charles when he's talking to Camilla Park, Camilla Parker Balls, whatever her name is? No, it's Parker not. Balls. Her name ain't Parker, Parker Balls. Balls. <laughs> Jim, Jim, Jim Parker, Parker Balls, Balls is the best game <laughs> I've ever heard. He just That's said, so cool. "You guys heard that, right?" <laughs> I would love to say my name was Parker Balls. Parker Balls. I always say whenever I go into um, Starbucks and I order something. I say my name is Lothar, L-O-T-H-A-R, just because why not, right? Fuck yeah, yeah. Parker Lothar. Balls is the best That's name. The I'm going to take yeah. that from now on. Uh, right, sure. <laughs> Sharon and Jim, I need an answer. Okay. Okay. Oh, an actual answer, um, like a real one. Um, oh, my God. Somebody that really wants something. Was it Hall Martin talking to the office of the <laughs> Most likely going to be Leo of the two. Um, I I'm skin you and wear you like Versace. That'd who's be recently Leo, but... fallen in love Um Ah, this is a uh, this has got to be some kind of one of them one of them Dr- RuPaul's Drag Race people. I don't know, oh, I don't know their names. It's all like sirloin well, or something. Let's make one up. How about approaching gently? Uh, is that a drag <laughs> let's name? See. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> if, if approaching gently said, who said it? Oh, so close. Katy Perry. All right. Katy Perry. Oh. She was actually just talking. She was talking to Kimmel about Japanese people. Which so yeah, I mean, not 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 a particular one. She was just describing what she'd love to do to a Japanese person when she sees them. Is that a photo? Is that a photograph where she said, "Please Photoshop the dick out of this picture"? <laughs> <laughs> so they took Steve Cummins out of the picture. Right. Let's oh. Come on, come on. Come on, Absolutely. get him, Tom. Ruins it every week. Tom. Get him. Hanging fruit, my friend. Yeah, I, who's the, who is the fucking farmer of low hanging fruit? I'm just not that tall. Fruit. I can't reach the higher branches. <laughs> Neither am I. I need a sticky to hit it. <laughs> Easy on the low hanging fruit. We all know Steve just turned fifty. Okay. Like, yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Right now they're swinging fruit. <laughs> all right, team one. Let's see your next. Who said this? So I actually don't. <laughs> I actually don't like thinking. There's like a billion <laughs> fucking people I can reply to this. So year. let's let's not go low. Let's try and be sharp on this one. I actually don't like thinking. Julie J. <laughs> 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 Let me guess. You saw her actually outside the property. She's not inside the property, right? You said that. Last okay. Time. You know what? Let's Sherlock Holmes this motherfucker. Basically, actually is not a common word used in America because you know facts. Right. I actually no. don't think you're true. right about that. Actually, don't actually, like actually, don't no. like Seriously, you don't. You try and say it. However, if you say actually in a British accent, 
Actually, actually, I actually, actually, don't like. seems to fit. actually, I don't like thinking. So okay, it's Boris like Johnson. Thinking. There you go. Problem solved. Let's move on to the next one. I actually don't like thinking. It's definitely not the pair from normal people anyway, because that's all they fucking did was oh, think. Right. Well, yeah. there's something else they did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that show was great. I don't want to hear a word said about it. It's the no, only, that was a great no, no, show. No, no. It's an entire season that can be just shortened down to about eight and a half minutes on X. That's the sexiest that Irish people have ever looked. God damn it. Hold on. Yeah, Once again, can we go back to Crystal Swing here? <laughs> so I actually don't like thinking. You, you think it's Boris? Well, hold on. I haven't even given Fred a chance. It's either, it's either, it's either that or Kim Kardashian. Hello? Hello? That, that. <laughs> so let's, let's hello. Either, either we can hear you, Fred. Oh, Spoken like a true Zoom person. <laughs> huh. That's who, uh, oh. who actually said this. Can you ah. oh, close enough. It was honestly, it was, he was, it was a Mrs. really long quote, but if that was the... the, the it just kept on waffling back and forth. How he doesn't like people who like thinking that like thinking like him. So he doesn't actually like thinking at all. Fair so enough. let's go over to team two. And let's get your, he ain't <laughs> messing with no broke. <laughs> so Sharna Jim, your yep. who said this? Is it up? Helen Kevin oh, oh, here we are. Uh, do, do ants have dicks? Oh, it's Declan Donnelly. <laughs> Deck of Anton Deck. <laughs> <laughs> really? And the answer is no. <laughs> um, that was real. Oh, concert. that's fantastic. You see, this is this is why Sharon, why I had to wait till week seven to bring the likes of Sharon on because the improv <laughs> is going to be it's going to be dangerous. Like. It's not improv. It's it's fact. It's knowledge. It's actually. Oh, by the way, Sharon, every right right has actually there? she's given a, a piece of advice here because she's watched oh, yeah. all, every. Well, like, not the queen. She just said, uh, "You'll fit in better, Sharon, if you in a creepy voice." Okay. So, All right. You fit in creepy bastards. I'll do it in my English phone voice. Oh, oh, Jim, you shouldn't have to put up with that shit, man. Sharon, tell me more about the oh, there you go. Have. Yes. Well, do I'm a ants. little ant. Do I have a dick? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. No. God ants. damn it! My dicks. life is pointless. <laughs> and there's seven million of me. Uh, Hang on, is this the Mark Marin podcast? This yeah. should be the whole show. Forget you guys. Let's so just do this. Guys? Just be creepy. Do ants have dicks? Okay, let's try and answer this. I mean, who would want to know do ants? Is it ants as in the insect or is it like your uncle's wife? Do you know what I mean? Because... <laughs> oh, wow. <That's laughs> then... well, that, there, there is the quote, you know, if your aunt had balls, she'd be your uncle. I don't know. You might be onto something. Is that a quote, Tom, or did you just make that up? I possibly just made that up. Be oh, careful. Sharon's from Roscommon. Be careful, like. Yeah, some of my aunts do. I know, I'm only joking. <laughs> careful. Um, hey, do... Don't worry, Sharon. They're not watching because nobody's watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Can I, that's, that's can what, I go? That's, there we go. That's that's what Jim is calling the, the good fans on the on the left-hand side yeah. of the screen. That's, that's what Jim's calling you. He's calling you no, nobody's. Bunch mm -hmm. of dickless ants. That's what I'm calling. Yeah. <laughs> dickless ants. I like Breathe that. the ant gets with an old fucking sip of beer. Christ. Oh Almighty. boy. I know. This is like my third one tonight. Is this Rip. just maybe it's a David Attenborough, you know, do ants oh, hey. have dicks? In this horrid landscape, there's only one question that could be asked. <laughs> do ants have dicks? Or else it's like um it's the it's Sarah Jessica Parker at the end of Sex in the City. Yes. And then I had to ask myself. In New York single landscape, <laughs> do ants have dicks? <laughs> I'm taking that it's answer. Been that's by brilliant. ants. That's there was only one brilliant. question: Do any of the ants have dicks? Yeah. Do, 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 do Sarah Jessica Parker? I'm taking that answer. Do, do, do. Let's see if it's Sarah Jessica Parker. Okay, Sarah Jessica Parker. Parker. Okay. Yeah, it's Courtney Kardashian. 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 Can we, we get, get a half point? family for a minute here, please? There's I yeah, didn't Courtney even them. know there was a Courtney Kardashian. I am so fucking proud that I wouldn't, even under torture, I couldn't have guessed that fucking name. She's but like the, one of the bald, you know what I mean? There's there's like eight or nine of these fuckers that just make a fortune for doing nothing. There's basically a Kardashian for every um, holiday, essentially. So there's, yeah. <laughs> Chloe, I, want, I want to meet Lent Kardashian. <laughs> Same bridges really cross. skinny Kardashian. Very, very skinny. Yeah. We've been waiting 40 days for that. Yay! Way to put a button on it, Fred. Bam. <laughs> Finally, we've so, called the pros in here. Oh, Stuck no. a dick on it, Fred. 
So after will that, take round, that, will you take Ash, that video and send it back, and I can put it up on my YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> so, so just please say that. You so you'd like three people to see it instead of two? Irish is that tour, it? Irish tour. Just that little stuff. So after that round, uh, Sharon, all by herself, is on uh, one million four hundred forty-two thousand. Uh, for doing a great impression of Sarah Jessica Parker. There I'm you are. I have my tea. While well, she has her gee bag tea. My gee so, bag tea. Let's move on to one of the favorite rounds of the whole thing. Let's get into the filibuster round. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is Jim. Jim missed this one last week. He I was love fucking, this. I love he's this Jones one. for a good filibuster. I'm, so, I'm a little tipsy. I'm probably not going to be good at it this week. Hey, Jim, you're never that great anyway. You're just better than the rest of the shite. So, <laughs> I just think all that slurred speech is going to make it go quicker for you anyway. So, you'll be fine. Friggin filibuster. These, the filibuster round is essentially eight random subjects that Your paper mean next to nothing paper. whatsoever. But of course, each team will have to choose a filibuster subject and speak on it as if they are an absolute expert on the fact. The more bullshit, the fucking better. So, so let's see the eight filibuster subjects, please. So you have chasing waterfalls, indoor outhouse, tree gutters, sexy PPE, awfully principality, spider guns, Topsoil dreams, the bog man. So, bog man. who knows what any of these are? I'll tell you who knows. You know what all of these are about, or at least one that you're going to choose. So, let's I forget which team is team one. Yeah, oh, thank God know. it's them. Okay, Fred, good, good. Fred, my dear, as you are the 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 technically newbie, you choose whatever one you want. Uh, what about uh, what about sexy PPE? Sexy well, I've never seen like PP that I didn't find sexy, Fred. So there you go. I'm so the way the way it would normally go is that each team member will get a minute to do it. But since Fred is probably going to produce a musical instrument of some sort, and Steve <laughs> cannot stop fucking singing whenever he gets an opportunity, that's true. And, he, and we know what he's like after a few Chinese. So <laughs> are we going with sexy PP, lads? Let's so do why, that. Why would we not? Of course, sexy PPE is all year. So, lads, we are going to start the clock in just. Who a wants to? Who's second. going first? Who's going first? Well, I'll uh, give you a hint. I'm not speaking for two fucking minutes. So, yeah, <laughs> knock yourself out, Fred. Just imagine someone told you you got a choice one minute. Do three. <laughs> all right. So we're going to count you in, Fred. Come on, Fred. This is right up your fucking. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Off you go, Fred. Put it on, yeah, it's so sexy. <laughs> sexy PPE. Put it on, yeah, because when you're coughing at night, you're doing it right. Because there's nothing worse than no condoms and sexy PPE. Oh. Don't spread it. PPE, don't spread it, baby. You gotta see, cause we it. It's like ecstasy. PPE, that's the way you gotta wear it. But don't deny it, baby. Ooh. Ooh, I'm not 80 seconds. Yeah, you gotta try it. You gotta deny it. Put it on. Don't spread it around. If you get your mate pregnant, you'll take your son. But if you get them COVID-19, you need sexy PPE. Steve, here we go. Hold on. <clears throat> Taking a leaf from Fred's book. Let's see how long he can make. E <laughs> the thing here's my thing about sexy ppe obviously ppe is undoubtedly sexy look what's been look how many people there are living in the extreme muslim world so clearly having your bottom of your face covered is is hot for about one quarter of the planet right but ppe stands for what does anyone know we know protective and equipment what's the other p stand for personal personal exactly what is more personal than having sex, right? So this was clearly designed, as you, I think we all know, uh, as a way of making sure that Roscommon people could have sex. Hey! Right? You need to hey. basically make sure that most of the body is covered, maybe the eyes if you're lucky, and whatever you do, you don't want any exchange of anything, and then hopefully <laughs> they'll all die out. 
Really All right, well, offended by that. Can I just that say was def- Yeah, Jeez. and you know, this is your time to get this as an improv queen, is your time to get back. Oh, don't stage. fucking do that. You can't do that. Well, why like, else do you think we're here? You can actually, you actually, I thought you were going to come. Listen, we listen, listen, listen. I thought we were Sharon's fine. new to let's not be mean to her. She doesn't oh. actually do oh. improv. Okay, okay. Jim's Nobody up being number improv. five now. All oh. right, lads, we've all had a drink. Calm down. Calm There's down. no reason to accuse somebody of doing improv. <laughs> That's really mean. That's I can listen to Steve's Muslim jokes, but I can't listen to somebody accuse somebody. Of doing improv comedy. Thank you, Jim. That's just, that's, Thank I know, you. I, it's disgusting, yeah. okay? Yeah. I know it, there's a plague it's on, but some stuff you don't joke about. Yeah, no, you're right. Doing yes, improv and. is yes, one of them. Yes, okay, yes, so, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. and. Charlie yeah. and Nazi. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> so, All right. so, what are we going to do here? It is gone. It is gone. Sexy so, TV now TV you have either gone. chasing waterfalls, indoor, What's a outhouse, tree gutter. Tree gut. Who, Jim? When has any of this made sense? You That's have true. to tell okay, us. Sorry, stupid butter. question. Top so, Dream, spider guns. Mentality? Spider guns. Frogman, Top maybe? Sure, bog yeah, man. no. Yeah, I'm into I'm into waterfalls, I'm into spider guns, and I'm into the bog man. But I'll leave it to you. you oh, I don't care. I really don't care. Okay, the, bo- the bog man, then. The okay. bog man. Yeah. Okay, the bog man it is. Who goes so, first? Who would like to go first, gang? I don't care. Will I go? Okay. Go, go for it, kid. Mm-hmm. If, so... Every bit of bullshit you know about the bomb oh, that we need to hear. You need to educate. That will be sure. it. Yeah. Okay. So okay. let's count you in on three, two, one. Off you go with the bomb man. So not many people know this, but the <laughs> bog man is actually my father. And the reason he was called the bog man is because he was actually born in a bog. He's made entirely of turf. And when we were kids, we would have to go to the bog and we'd have to build him up from the turf. So when, when other children were footing turf, we were actually footing our own father, who was the bog man. And then he would stroll around the streets of Roscommon and come out at night only between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. He used to bring a torch and he'd shine the torch into the lights of the children's eyes. And rumour had it that if the light touched the retina of your eye, you would be <laughs> deemed deaf, blind and mute for the rest of your life. And you, that explains why there is a lot of problems, social and otherwise, in Roscommon. He also had a habit of saying no, which is why Roscommon has a habit of voting no for very important <laughs> referendums. That's all down to my father, the bog man. Oh. But Sharon's father is not the only <laughs> known instance of the Bogman. In fact, uh, keen uh, students of Irish and Celtic lore will know that the Bogman is a legend that has persisted for generations. In fact, the Bogman is one of the scariest things that if you're ever in a county where they don't have any kind of public transport and you stand in the pub and look in the bog mirror and you say bog man bog man bog man three times a man will appear behind you and ask you for a cigarette (laughs) the bog man is a superhero of sorts he's kind of like a golem who will do avenge wrongdoings done to the country people of Ireland but like any good superhero the bog man has of course a sidekick you cannot defeat the bog man when he's joined by his trusty partner Tractor <laughs> Darren I love that we went creepy voice on that that was perfect that was... Can, I, okay. can I just interject briefly here yeah, please, with a ahead. huge and a very rare moment of congratulations for Jim Elliot Record Jim it. Elliot has only one funny bit of material and it's about the bog yes. and he didn't he use one it. word of it in this whole bit. Oh, Jim, yeah, yeah. So proud of you. Yeah. you get the Paul well Marsh Award for not shoehorning shit in from your own routine. Can I don't I- know what to tell you guys. That's my gold, and I'm not putting that shit here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I only do that bit when people are watching. It's you certainly your gold because you it's hundreds of years old. <laughs> it's as old as fucking turf. We should, yes, actually, this should be a government fucking policy against Jim fucking footing his own material that he's done for the last 150 years. But all joking, <laughs> all joking to aside, said well done for not shoehorning your shit in, man. Yeah, That's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, we would have known it. Like, we would have heard it. When he, if, he if, it, if anyone had nothing to do with the toilet, you never Tom, call it. If you were, you call it Tom, toilet. if you ever put up a, if one of the filibuster rounds is tired crowd work, I'm going to kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you'd be delighted to know, Steve. Right. Well, I, I or, guess we'll have to have a crowd for that. Oh, oh, yeah. Never happened. Never happened. Jim Crawling to come back. I, I, please, can I come back, Tom? <laughs> All right, let's go over to team one and let's, let's let you pick another one, please. Fred, have you got a song for every one of these? Oh, yeah, I wrote them earlier on. So. Oh, so basically, you just repeat the same two words over and over again to music. Well, the same music. <laughs> Do you know what I love about looking at Just these? Right? Sing Chasing Waterfalls. I would love yeah. to hear yeah. Chasing Waterfalls. Do you know what? That'll be us, right? But oh, I just want to, what I love is every week, all Tom does, clearly five minutes before the fucking show, yeah. Tom walks outside and he starts you looking around and he just picks one last word from each. He you saw, got these last night. He saw an outhouse I, and he thought, geez, we yeah. could put one of those indoors. He saw the tree. He saw his gutters. He saw yeah. his PPE, and eventually, all the way down, he eventually gets, he walked into his house, there's a, the mirror in the hall, and he saw the bogman. So the thing is, you're not making shit up here, is what I'm saying to you. But, Fred, what do you want? Chasing Waterfalls? Just well, you decide, you decide, you decide. Let's do Chasing Waterfalls. Okay. Everyone seems to want it. And Steve is going first on Chasing Waterfalls, because Fred went first the other time round. So, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have a disagreement with that? No. <laughs> all right, so... We'll count him in on three, two, one. Chasing Waterfalls, Steve. Chasing Waterfalls, as we all know, was a very famous song for a band called TLC, which, weirdly enough, rhymes with PPE. And sometimes you can just go... <laughs> However, Chasing Waterfalls, if you actually look at it correctly, is certainly a sport that I'm willing to, to, to get on board with, right? Because... Basically, it means you drive out to Powers Court, you do some stretching, right? And then, fuck it, you've done it, you've caught it, right? You no longer need to take them. I can't believe I'm only 30 seconds in, so now I'm really pulling you out. Um, Chase Water, it was, it was by the band TLC. TLC, of, of course, means tender, loving care, and uh, which is something that I um, was accused of when I was working in a care home You're for the elderly. Around. And I'll be honest, right? She came on to me. That was my that was my testimony in court, and it's what I'll stick by today. Here we go, Fred. Chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Steve Cummins gives art to me for using the guitar just to get by. But I'd rather fucking sing the song and make. People smile, why don't you give it a try? Every time you're looking at me on stage, you're like, Fred, will you give me a joke? I'm like a silly face, a few chords, they'll clap at the end. Did you know this song is actually written about AIDS? Did you know this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please the to the rivers and the jokes that you're used to, Steve coming. <laughs> so you're gonna have it your way up. That's it, I'm done. Thank you. Oh, Oh, the effects there, of course, as always and every week, is brought to you by <laughs> Professor Gordo. He's in the background making this whole thing uh, fit together, oh, right, pushing right. the buttons and pulling the threads. That was fucking amazing, Fred. And Fred only knows three songs. How lucky was that? <laughs> Voice <laughs> of an angel. If I close my eyes, like Andrea Bocelli from Navin. Voice of a hell's angel, yeah, he does. <laughs> You are getting loads of love from all the gang. Uh, Rory Campbell has joined in. Good on you, Rory. Hi, hey, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Good to fucking Rory by the looks of things. Good on you. Hey, hey Rory, so, you want to take my spot here, man? <laughs> no, nobody would understand the fucking word he says. So, you know, so no change. No change whatsoever. So let's head over to team okay. two and let's see your last hey, video. You see that so shit? James Bog. Oh, look at that. James Bog said yeah. it's my favorite, oh. San Marie. And Marie's clearly been drinking as well. Her favorite, her favorite set Mother about bogs done in the Irish comedy circuit. And she's from Kilshima, so God bless her. So, your last one. So, obviously, Sex PPE is gone, Chasing Waterfalls is gone, and The Bogman is gone. So, let's see what other one you'd like. You you pick there, Jim. You go for it. Mm, indoor Whatever. outhouse. You can tell Tom made this list because most of us just call that a bathroom. Uh, <laughs> but all right, uh, let's go Spider Guns. Okay. Spider guns. Nice. Spider guns. 
Spider. Nice. Girl. See Sharon's Spider. face. She's like, "What the fuck?" See, that's yeah, the sorry. My uh, my my screen keeps freezing. That's so every time my face does that, it's when I'm freezing and I'm going. Am I gone? Mm. I'm going back. It adds I'm drama, going. though. I have to say, Sharon. Yeah, it, it is. It keeps drama. it keeps me on the edge of my seat. I like it. Keeps Excellent. It so, Jim, would you like to go first? You bet. I would like to go first. Of course you would, because it's got guns in it, and you're from America. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's count let's, Jim in man, and let's the set gun. the counter on three, two, one. Spider guns, Jim. See, but that's the thing about spider guns is that like they they, they want to. It, it it really would led to the downfall of the spider universities with all the spider school shootings, and that's why you can't bring the schools back in the fall. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. A lot of people think when you talk about spider guns is what you're going to think is that they've got a spider because a spider's got eight legs, and so they're going to have eight guns on them all like this like bang 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 and that's just not true because when you think about it ultimately you're thinking about a spider gun in the sense that we have guns and the spiders but but the spider is one of the few animals that was born and lives its whole life with a projectile and not a projectile like steve can fire limply and foully out of his whatever and straight down i'm talking about they can go straight out of their ass to spin a web and that web they can fire straight across the doorway for you to walk into at night so when the people talk about spider Spider guns, what they're really talking about is an ass cannon that they can blast their spidery silky web out of. Oh so when they go like this, they no, it's not the not the way, man. Not the way biology works. Sharon. Here we go, Sharon. I don't know what he's talking about, because I do <laughs> want to talk about guns, specifically spider guns and the rights of the spider community to own guns, to carry guns, whether concealed or otherwise, to fire guns. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you don't know about goes on with spiders. It's dangerous. You got to protect their webs. They got to protect their <laughs> spider children, which are just called little spiders. And it's hard out there. And they got amendments that they need to protect. I can't remember if it's the first amendment or the second or the third. And frankly, I don't think I should have to remember this bullshit because I'm just here to speak up for the spider community and you don't know, you don't realize how many spiders with guns that you stand on every day of your life and all <laughs> crawl up into your it's nostrils true. when you are asleep. This is a fact. They crawl up there with their machine guns and you basically mm -hmm. lucky you don't get your veins blown out of you. The <laughs> only thing that can stop a bad spider with a gun is a good spider with a gun. Okay? That's right. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Right, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Champion levels of horseshit oh. there, everybody. Well done. Well done. Sorry, was, Tom. Uh, I just I, finally I, I, bullshitting is appreciated. I like Steve, it. Absolutely. I got to be honest. We have, to hold on. Jim we have a message Tanya. coming in from Professor Gordo. Yeah, the the uh, the NRA have just uh, emailed the official <laughs> bookshot email address, and they say that they want Sharon to speak as a as a, an official spokesperson. I'm there. I'm there. To sign me up to those motherfuckers. I love it. Listen, you 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 tell the NRA that I said that they can go fuck themselves and my name is Paul Marsh. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea why the National Road Authority have anything to do with this fucking podcast. It's just going to be great. Got to be great. We're all new roads for Kerry. That's the main thing. All right, that ends the filibuster round. Absolutely savage gang. Well done. There's a gazillion points gone. Oh, this is fun too, man. She did an accent, and, and <laughs> to be fair, Fred sang a song. Who doesn't yeah. love a fucking song? Yeah. So everybody's favorite round. Everybody that watches anyway, this is their favorite round. It is Scutter Talk. So essentially, what we've done is we've taken clips from around the internet, from famous movies, TV shows, and whatnot. Taken away the sound, and we're going to allow our contestants to have a crack up it. The funnier, the better. Jim's drunk, so that's going to be good. So, Scott the Talk, <laughs> up on Team One. You did get these last night, so I don't know if he... You didn't give him I a look. Fred, did you look? No, I didn't so get premise, any... The premise, Fred, is pick your character early on. They all have just two people in it. You know, they're thereabouts, two people in it. Pick who you're going to be and stick with it. Make it completely... I'm okay, saying, Fred, I'm this Fred. too. I won't have to explain this to Sharon. Make it completely unrelated to the situation. Fred, do you want to pick the first person speaking or the second person speaking? I don't give a shite because I have no idea what's going on. I'll go to first then, if that's okay. All right, Thank then, you. go. So, let's have the boys first. Shut the talk, please, Dr. Gordo. How are you? Hold on, what was... Can I, you... I just love walking around with a gun in my hand. Just anywhere in Roscommon. That's all I want. <laughs> There's a guy with glasses. He looks like here, some sort of intellectual. Here, you, 
You spend half your life, right? You spend half your life in the gym. I spend my life in the library. And I'll tell you what now. I know more about all sorts of shite than you'll ever fucking know. You great square-jawed lantern face fuck. Well, I'd appreciate it if you just keep more than two metres away from me right now to, uh, to come on with COVID restrictions and stuff like that. Look at my head. I've got a hat. Sorry, quick question for you. Have you, have you any bullets I can borrow? Because quite <laughs> frankly, I'm a little sharp myself. Well, if I just take off this kind of uh, Vietnamese head off my head and uh, I turn around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you look behind you, right, there's a, there's one, there, it's the Thai Palace restaurant. It's right behind your, there it is. Look now, and I tell you now, their fucking green curry is one of the nicest things you've ever had in your life. Don't interrupt me. Listen, I think you were kind of out of order right now, to tell you the truth. Only that you're looking so beautiful. I wouldn't, I hear there's a guy coming over trying to interact. Hey, Come on, boys. It's over, boys. It's over. Come on, go, 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 go. I have to, I have to. Listen, I'm telling Can I you. I say, you, your name's Billy Blanks. I've met you before. You have one of the nicest smiles. Oh, he's gone. Fuck him. Right. Here, tell you what. You and your Here. mother. Well done, boys. That's the first round of Scott the Talk. Very well done. You actually got timing right with conversations for once. Fair play. I actually, <laughs> Steve, turns out I just have to have two people speaking directly at each other. In that time does help. You That's very much the key. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So no, no greyhounds with fucking glasses this week. Oh, well, that, you know, see, that's up for skill, skilled people. I, I mistook it. I'll keep it simple from now on. So... Team two, here is your first. I should I should say that I, these aren't playing for me, so um, I can't see anything. So I'll just I'll just talk every now and again. Will I? Yeah. Why Can not? I just, Why not? Your, I'm sorry, Sharon. You, you you can't see any of these clips. No. This is gonna be fun. Roll so it. I'll, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see your first clip. So team two, here's your Scott the Talk clip. Oh God, I'm completely naked. I don't know what's going to happen well, now. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Let's, let's, let's come in here. Why don't you follow me and we'll, we'll eat some strawberries. If you, you like just that? Walk, walk back towards the room there while I have to walk right in front of you and make one very, very serious point as I look you in the face. But oh. you were about to say something? Well, I was just saying, perhaps we could have a, a light picnic before we get to it, as it were. <laughs> Uh, if that's all right with you. Now, how dare you try to walk out on me? Hang on just one goddamn minute here. Oh. My name is fucking Russell. Co Listen to me. I don't what? care if you are naked. I don't think I have. Wait, you're going to. Well, I, I only got naked because you said you were naked. I well, mean, it's I very warm in doing. here. It, it appears to be in some kind of southern oh. uh, hospitality <laughs> time. I don't see an air conditioner anywhere. If we could turn it on. You have, a very, got... you have a very large penis. I've just seen it there. Well. <laughs> I Tell me something out. I don't know. This oh, is wait this, a hey, second. Can we cut wait that a, bit for my YouTube channel real quick? Wait a second. Did I meet you in coppers before? I have. <laughs> wow. Well then fuck you. You never called me. I couldn't call you. Look around. We're clearly in caves. How was I supposed to call you with a signal for all right, we're done. Well, uh... <laughs> You, you, you really not, couldn't see any of that, Sharon? I don't it believe. Popped, wow, popped, popped up uh, when, when I did this. I could see. I saw then it was Gladiator. Oh, okay. Um, ah, yeah. But, but not, a, extremely you know, not a, Oliver Reed. In fairness, because you mentioned his penis and everything. That was really. Oh, that, I could see him then. When I saw oh. him, I went penis. <laughs> it was just an <laughs> involuntary. That's Sharon's, Sharon's go-to for when she goes, "Yeah, look, penis." Yeah, oh, I forgot. Penis. I forgot that my children were listening. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll be able to watch this back out. Penis. I should say penis very quietly. There you go. Mammy is screaming penis again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team one. Here's your next cut the top. Do you want to go first this time, Steve? Okay, all right, fair enough. Here we go. Thanks for keeping us on track there, Freddie. <laughs> oh, hello. Now, welcome to the Irish Procrastination Society. Now, I'll be talking to you in a minute. Listen. I've told you before... You well, can't dress up as a Roman well, emperor and stand here, sit there, well, sit there, look at, do you know what, fuck it, I'm going to make has you. Anyone, has anyone got Wi-Fi around here? Okay, now, <laughs> most people say that the dungarees and cardigan look doesn't work in Roscommon. Well, I'll tell I you now, it does. <laughs> I think you're looking very well. Look at me. This was my Deb's dress. It was always good. It attracted men, women, and children. Look at my, look at my breasts, never were felt fuller or wider. Well, well. I wouldn't mind. Uh, I, I can't stop looking at you. I'll be honest with you. You're not saying much, you lazy <laughs> bastard. Quite frankly, this is the easiest job you've ever done. Now, to quote Harry Potter, 
<laughs> Expelliarmus, you prick. And and your mother. And and Dumbledore was a bit of a cunt as well. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because I can walk and you're in a fucking chair, you great scruffy ugly prick, all the way from fucking Kells. This is the worst Tinder date I've ever been on. <laughs> you have some serious attitude problems. You have nothing like a profile like. Fred, did you plan this? You went, I'll just sit there in a chair and fight people. Poor old Ross Common is getting Yeah, what the hell? I did like the dead Fred. I By the way, like Sharon, if you can't tell me your Deb's dress didn't look like that in Ross Common. Well... Let's just, it was slightly, it had slightly more sequins. It was basically like that with a few sequins dotted back, around. Backless dungarees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually could yeah. see that one. I saw that one. So I'm hoping I'll be able to see the next one. So oh, Dave yeah. Walsh actually, yeah, he, he he was spot on. He said the copper's part was perfectly tiny. Tom Hicks is that, that was. I could see that bit now in fairness. Yeah. That Full was an disclosure. Apocalypse Now clip and a Misery clip. Tom, are you feeling all right this week, man? That's some dark shit to be watching. Like, oh, that, don't that's... worry. We're on an upward swing next. I'm oh, guessing. good. Okay, all here right. we go. Okay. What do we got? So your next one is coming up. Fire away, Gordo. All right. Now, come here. Are you coming down from the window, will you? Listen, I, I, last time I came down there, you dressed me like a chicken and smashed eggs on me. Yeah, so, no. yeah. You're my, you're my Look, son, my I'm large, overgrown I'm, son. You think I can't fly? You think I can't fucking... Oh, you fucking idiot. Your father used to think he could fly <laughs> no, as well. I, look, I'm just telling you, if I'm not wearing all these feathers, I bet I can fly. Listen, will you come down here, for God's sake? I have potatoes you on. What, if, you, if you insist, you stand <laughs> under me and just lay down, and I'm going to take a big swan dive. Are you going to swan dive on your mother again? Jesus Christ. I mean, Christ. I might. I might. I might. I might not. I might not. I might not have to. Listen, you'll have to come in and help me. There's visitors coming from America. Listen, you don't get to tell me what to do anymore. I fucking do, you little <laughs> upside down. I'm your mother. I gave birth to you. Well, I don't have to. And it was a terrible labor as well. 17 I hours. I didn't ask to be born. Well, you were there. So, I mean, how do you explain it? Listen, well, it wasn't my fault. I don't, I don't want any of this. I don't want to go to college. I want to be an artist, and I want to dress in egg yolks. Oh, would you stop? I still haven't forgiven you for being so scratchy when you were coming out of my... <laughs> well, I've got hay in my sleeves. I don't feel like that's my fault. It's your father's, your father's fault. He was made of hay as well. I should never have ridden that scared. Oh. <laughs> it was a full moon. You had oh, no choice. I know, but he looked lovely in his... It's Paul. <laughs> well, listen, he'll get you back, and I'll I'll come down what? when I want to. What are you talking? Get down here now. Down to dinner either. I'm going to stay up here. Did you just the, stick out your tongue harvest. at me? I, you're not too old that I'll crack you across me lap. Yeah, come on up here, and we'll see what happens, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, a ladder. I'm up. Hang on a second. Santa, is that you? <laughs> Hands down the best. Oh, stop. The best. oh my god. And I love that in James Sharp... World Santa fucking uses a ladder to get into your house. <laughs> while Sharon, you were on point and you were really, really good. It was Jim's motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth some damage. Has anyone noticed that ever since Sharon had a kid, she's pr prepared for the I didn't ask to be born? Because straight oh, out, yeah. well, you were there. Yeah. At all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come at me with that shit, and I got, yeah, I got exactly. it. Exactly. Good on you, woman. That's prepared. <laughs> Good on you. Oh, that was that was tasty. All right, team one. Uh, Oh, I beg your pardon. Sorry. Over to headlines. So, yeah, actually, thank you very much to uh, Anne Marie Doherty. She sent forward the words of the comments clip. It was perfect. Good Absolutely choice. Perfect. That was a great clip. Yeah. I put it out last week, yeah. and a, a bunch came in. That just a lot of them were dead to be used, but it was on the money. So, Anne Marie, do you want a job that's a better clip than Tom ever picks? You want to <laughs> yeah. pick four every week? Yeah, yeah. You'll get paid what we all get paid. And can, can yeah. you do a shit American accent? You can have Jim spot on this team as well. <laughs> <laughs> Larkin Hughes, I've totally wired. Jumped in. He says, "Why is there drawing a fine arms guard behind Steve?" <laughs> <laughs> someone who's someone who wasn't on watching last week, so we're not going to tell him the real reason now. So fuck him. Mm -hmm. No, you're dead right. You're dead yeah. right. Have you watched any of their live streams either? Oh. Well, I they, I tried, well, but you know streams? yourself. Yes. You know. Yeah. You click yes on the invite. Like, I know. I know. Come like so the many work. people, I could only get through a minute and a half. <laughs> and that. And that was just turning on the computer. <laughs> on, you know, so Steve's, Steve's wife from the other room going, I oh, heard that. 
<laughs> she wishes. <laughs> so around. that involves getting dressed again and taking the lead off. <laughs> oh my lord! With a smell oh, of Chinese oh. off him as well. Good lord! Oh my god! He's got the meat out again. Sharon turns into kind of a creepy version of the caramel bunny for her second there. Yes. Hello. Does anybody want some chocolate? <laughs> I just, just, just literally stung sh- itself just to kill itself. There, <laughs> Sh- Sharon had a CB radio years ago and just used to just just call other people and truckers and lads with fast cars going, "How are you, lads? Hello, hello, lads. Do you want a sandwich?" <laughs> and, that, and that one memorable Pan Am flight over Lockerbie. <laughs> oh. Moving swiftly oh. along. Anyway, thanks, Steve. We were already going to get blocked anyway, probably for the Wurzel Gummage clip. And uh, I thought the Muslim stuff would have probably fucked us anyway. No, we'll be all right for that. We're okay. That's old news, you see. That's uh, that's a bad joke. So, uh-huh. that, the final <laughs> one is, final round is called Speaking Headlines. from the Arbiter. Yeah, final round is called Headlines, which, of course, is no fucking minute. Uh-oh. Three, three, four, three, four, three, four, at least one word, sometimes two words, just to mess up with our contestants. They have to choose, choose and find out what those missing words are. So let's go to team one again, please. And let's see your first headline. Do you know what's very handy? You broke up badly, Tom, there, but it's such a hacked concept that I, we, we knew what we had to do. So it's perfect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the guy who does Zoom party. Hey, excuse me. Door. Nothing hacked about so, that. The most refreshing corporate event online. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Who are you advertising to? There's time. nobody watching. <laughs> I know, I know. But you got, you got to keep swinging, baby. Okay. So, uh, animal blank at Palestinian Zoo after people disappear. Animal Jew tamer at Palestinian Zoo. No, hold on. No, it's wrong. Animal animals, mother. <laughs> animals learn to throw stones. Animal... <laughs> Animal magic show, surely. Animal magic show at yes. Palestinian Zoo after people. Yes. Oh, See, this is comedy, people. Oh, very this good. is comedy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it sounds Have a go at possible. It. Here, Fred, you're here as well, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Fred's, Fred's <laughs> writing the fucking song over there. Yeah. <laughs> How do I put this into a song? I'm confused. <laughs> It's triggered, it's triggered childhood traumas from all the shouting. Animal Miss Piggy and Grover <laughs> at Palestinian Zoo after people disappear. Fuck oh, you, that's that... the best Muppet reference you're going to get this evening. Yeah, I, I don't know if they... So what, what, what do you reckon, lads? What do you reckon? Give us an answer. Give us an answer. At a Pal- Who would have known they had a zoo in Palestine anyway? You'd think they'd have other things to be doing, but... And obviously, animal rapist. Animal, animal escapes. Steve, you have you are no you have no idea how close that I really? almost put up a headline from. I, yeah, I couldn't do it though. I couldn't do it. Just go to Reddit. That's all I'll tell you. Go to Reddit. <laughs> oh my Jesus! That's, that's never good advice. Right. No, no, it's not. It's not. I'm not right after it. Oh, well, obviously, it's animal impersonators. Ah, animal impersonators. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, some guy out there is like, I'm a crocodile. Like, uh, yeah, that's. It's got to be magic show. So, boys, what is you? What do you reckon? Animal Gaza Strip resident at Palestinian Zoo. That makes know. sense. Animal Gaza Strip resident yeah. denied access to Palestinian Zoo. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it's got obviously it's got something to do with um, animal riot because fuck it, that's all they do over there. Yeah, let's have a look. It's an animal, animal riot? cries, animal cries, animal loneliness, cries, animal <laughs> cries of Palestinian. <laughs> animal Crossing becomes the least popular uh, Nintendo Switch game at Palestinian Zoo after people disappear. <laughs> Animal Street Fighter. Right. Animal Street Fighter. Animal Street Fighter. I'd play it. I would. A woozy. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga. 
Animal Yoga Fire, a Palestinian zoo. No, no, Animal Yoga Fire would be an animal barbecue. Yoga, what yoga what fire. is going on? Am I the sober one? What is going on here? Yeah, it's all just it's all transcended into a weird thing. So okay. let's see what it is. And let's see what the, what the missing piece is. Animal baby boon, a Palestinian zoo after people disappear. Oh. So, so what you're saying is Palestinian animals don't like to be watched while shagging. Exactly. And with Very COVID, they just went fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Fair. Absolutely. Uh, that's my weekend ruined. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so team two, let's see what team your first headline. Two. Let's see what we got. So, <laughs> does the Vatican show blank instead of the real Pope? Oh, I young, can't say this, but. Does the Vatican show young Pope instead of the real Pope? Does no. the what Vatican the show. Holograms instead of the real Pope. Oh yeah, man! Like that time that uh, Snoop rapped with Tupac, and Tupac was a hologram. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what are we talking about? Or Is the Pope uh, going to start rapping? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Does, yeah. Was Tupac dressed as an altar boy and Snoop? Oh, I'm sorry. Does, Does the, the Vatican, Vatican show Back to the Future one, two, and three instead of instead the real Pope? <laughs> that would be that would attract more of a crowd. Do they show reruns? Like. <laughs> Oh, now I see. Oh, reruns is a good idea. If they're like, "Hey, man, you, hey, you, you, you guys remember that sermon from uh, from Easter Sunday, nineteen seventy-eight? Ooh, that was hot. You know what I mean?" And they're like, "Ah, let's just show the old one." I okay. thought Don, John Stewart was Jewish, though. John Stewart. <laughs> you know, there's the Daily Show, then he did the Vatican Show for a while. It wasn't his guys. Michael Bublé. Does the Vatican show Michael Bublé instead of the real Pope? Does the Vatican show? Because that again, I think I feel like these are all good suggestions for how the Vatican could get more of a crowd. All the episodes of Jim will fix it, <laughs> <laughs> or they could just show something of real Italian culture, like the movie Goodfellas or something. You know what I mean? Something yeah. that everybody could enjoy, yeah. or just the pizza, the pizza, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Ever since I could remember, I wanted to be a gangster. Uh, yeah, no, no, that, that'd be fun. Anyway, um, no, I think we should go with the Vat. Does the Vatican show reruns instead of the real Pope? You think? Okay, reruns yeah. of reruns. what? Reruns of old Pope. The reruns of old Pope. Let's oh, does the Vatican show reruns mm. instead of the real Pope. Let's have a look. Ah, ah, sure. oh, you said it already, oh Sharon. Well so done, get, Sharon. You get whoop, a half point whoop. for that, Sharon. You get a half point for that. Whoop, whoop. So, yeah, yeah. Great. Go look this up. He does. It, it, they're watching. Now, I mean, it could be somebody made it up. I don't know. But he, it looks like the real Pope. Then he turns around and poof, like, God, like proper magic. He this just sounds like some bullshit off of that conspiracy guy's show. And I don't like that show. So Tom, we're not talking about maybe, that. maybe that's just the work of Jesus Christ. This is, yeah, this is. Do you know what I mean? That was my first thought, Sharon. To be yeah, obviously, I think a hologram is a bit far fetched, but it could be Jesus. So you're definitely. saying it's a holy gram. <laughs> Yay! Yay. There, yes. there is fruit Very all good. over the ground at the moment, people. <laughs> I'd like to say that is my new hour of material right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, first, first one in uh, a decade? Great. I know that's, that one line is my new hour of material. <laughs> oh, yeah. keep, all right, let's keep see. up, Tommy. This is Team One's final headline game show parting of the night. So, this New Zealand man gets paid 10 grand a year to be the city's official what? COVID denier. <laughs> <laughs> they have been rubbing it in our faces a small bit, haven't they? No, no, somebody got it Not today. Not anymore. Yes. Four of them got it today. Yeah. Four of them. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Let's send them out into the countryside. Fuck. They're probably irate. Backpacking. What's the, what's the line again? I can't see he it. He gets paid $10,000 a year to be the city's official 10,000 heir. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, at, maybe it's signpost. We see those guys with the golf sale sign. Yeah. They get paid about 10 grand a day, isn't it? It's good money. I know yeah. that. Yeah. So, you know, they could be just standing there with Auckland and a fucking hand sign in his hand. New Zealand man gets paid ten thousand a year to be the city's official. That's probably something dull like orc or fucking Lord of the Ring Hobbit or something. Lollipop guy, lolly lollipop guy. You reckon you get ten grand a year to be the one, the city's official one? All right, yeah. There's only one street. No, so <laughs> <laughs> there's only three cars. Uh, there's only one. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, I have to be the city's official uh, mascot. Yeah. Town crier. 
Oh, Keen McGargle is on board. Hi, Keen. Uh, oh, Keen is, uh, he ought to be the worst, the city official worst paid man. <laughs> oh, Keen, oh, you man. should try doing comedy for the last six months. <laughs> <laughs> Ten grand. Luxury. <laughs> Luxury. Hold on, it's a New Zealand man. He gets paid to be the city's official um, hacker teacher. Okay, that's a pretty, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I'm taking, will I take that? dollars a year. What do you think? Hold on, how to be the Liar. city's official guy who gets paid to get annoyed at being compared to Australians by mistake just by the same shitty accent. I think they all do that, pro bono. Yeah. Yeah. Someone has to be the, the front runner. Go on, Fred, for the crack. Give us a chance. Give us a chance. <laughs> Fly, uh, flyer for the New Zealand Comedy Festival. <laughs> <laughs> And that's, that's, that's five grand less than Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> These are all, all right. jokes. So Enjoy. I'll have to push, push you for an answer, guys. Do you want to say, do you see a new show? Because you're better than this than I am. Well, quite frankly, we'd see. Orc. Orc. Okay, fair enough. So this, uh, let's see if it's Orc. Wizard. Oh, you know yeah. what? That actually was oh, not far off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, He's just a just... man with an exceptionally long foreskin and a stick sticking out of the end of his cock. <laughs> and I was, I was, I was close with Lollipop Man because he holds something as well. Exactly. Doesn't he? Like so, in my way. And I, I wouldn't, I it. wouldn't want any of them near children or travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy. He he started out just being a street entertainer, and now all of a sudden he became folklore. So. They just exactly. figured, fuck it, let's keep him on board, throw him a couple exactly. of good the day. So, like, that 10,000 a year probably equates to what you'd be getting on the dole. So, like, basically, you could just say you were yeah. anything. Has he just there's made a, There's a guy himself? who lives on my street who uh, who makes 10,000 a year to be a wizard. Like, yeah. You talk to him anytime you want. Yeah, I'm Ireland's official fucking... Um, and I mean, he lives literally on the street. Singer. <laughs> I used okay. to be the local wizard of Kerry until I got the COVID payment. <laughs> Fuck that, man. <laughs> All right, so let's let's switch over and see uh, mm -mm. Team Two's final headline of the night, please. Trolls doll pulled from stores due to triggered button. button. Um, due to. Large red button which said do not touch. <laughs> Trolls doll pulled from stores due to something button. Um nuclear button. You would you would pull the doll, you would you would take the doll and you would pull it from the stores. Yeah, basically their... this is a Donald Trump thing where the nuclear button is actually hidden in a troll's doll. <laughs> I think the nuclear button is currently <laughs> controlled by a troll doll. Uh <laughs> You guys, keep, you guys keep switching the window around on me. I'm trying to look at Sharon the entire time. And then you know, it is. Uh, Trolls doll pulled from stores due to... Racist button. It's 2020. The answer has got to be racist. Yes. What's a racist button, Jim? I don't know. The a button, button you said, press. The button said button. something on it that I don't want to say on the internet. Trolls doll. It's a button Trolls you doll. press for the troll to be racist, basically. If you're into having a, a racist <laughs> troll doll, yeah. you just press the button... And uh, I've had I have plenty of relatives that have this yeah. button as well. You, you, put, you push the button and the troll goes, why isn't there a white history month? <laughs> yeah. Listen, Cadbury's buttons have white buttons as well. Don't start. Uh, uh, due to malfunctioning button, we're going to go boring. We could just say something boring like that. Belly button. Be the the pulled from stores due to belly button because they shouldn't have belly buttons because they're not born that way Would you go with belly button? I don't know if you guys know this about trolls but they're born via spores much like the bog man actually let's talk more ah, about the bog yes. man if you want bog to man. if Sharon's right about belly button that's fucking awesome by the that way. would be hilarious uh, I was thinking Benjamin okay button. let's see what it is so Inappropriate button. That's like I said racist. racist That's button. basically racist. Yeah. That's racist. No, the, the button itself. No, the button itself wasn't inappropriate, but where it was was inappropriate. It was between the dolls. It was in the dolls' groin area for some reason. They went, well, this oh. is the perfect place to put a fucking well, button. Well, we can't be teaching people that women have clitorises. That's wrong. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, by the way, it's called clitorati. Yeah. 
That's the plural. <laughs> but uh, why? What would happen when you push them in there? I watched the video on this uh, uh, only ironically enough, and uh, yeah. when you when you press it, it's right in the the doll's gooch, and when you yeah. press it, it goes like, ah. Uh. Uh, what? Oh, well, probably. Listen, every woman in the world should be giving those to boyfriends and husbands. Jim, you're right. Yeah. It absolutely it, would be a great yeah, idea. But it, it, is. it goes in what? cycles of different little clips. In so, a country where we can't even teach people how to use tampons on TV, I think we should have these dolls. I think you more should. people more people would learn what Cardi B means by a wet air fur. If you, you oh, should yeah. try you should try and ask for directions in West Cork because it's the exact same. You don't understand what the fuck is going on there either. <laughs> I, I, what is happening? I feel like I've been dropped into an alternative universe all of a sudden. Well, no, that men know where the clitoris is. Yeah, I know. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's true. You press the button and, and then there was like f- four or five different like um, sounds that go around in a circle. Kind of like, in a, you know, the first one's like, ah. The second one's like, oh. And like the fifth one is like, oh. Like it's very sexually provocative and odd. <laughs> Idea. What hey, keep fuck? doing that, Gordon. I'm very close. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, between, can I just say, can I get an that, isolation? It's Sharon's the ASMR. Just there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This show was going to be a tough well, one to get through, but you can That's make a it. tough one. Who, who won, Tom? That's upsetting. Nobody got it correct. Yeah, but How who? I frozen on ye. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. People are frozen, yeah, a little bit. In Video, and video's frozen, but I can still hear you guys. Well, the thing is, you're describing uh, it no matter what way you're caught. Yeah, I know. So that ends our episode seven of Buckshot Side, oh. Sean. We're just totting up the points here, and Sharon Mannion has won by an absolute landslide. Damn I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she has. Yeah. Of course, that has been the show. If this is your first time watching, hit subscribe on whatever platform you're listening on, because most likely, if you don't watch it live, it will get blocked by one of the TV channels whose, oh, it whose clips is getting we've used throughout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wurzel, Wurzel Gummidge is getting it blocked, for sure. Wurzel Gummidge is getting it blocked. Uh, of course, let's go around the table and let's say uh, hello to everybody and let's uh, let's see what you got to promote. So let's go to team one, of course. First, Steve, we've talked about it about 17 times tonight. And I'd like to mention it again, zoomparty.ie, the finest in corporate online entertainment. That's all I want to say, because quite frankly, fuck it, no one's listening. <laughs> I don't... I Fred, don't would you like to promote anything? Oh, Fred you, have, Fred, Fred, you have shows coming up. I do, what? yeah. I've actually got an Irish show coming up with social restrictions, so uh, I guess the audience will be like my hair, spread out evenly to give an illusion of volume. What? <laughs> 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 First joke of it. What? Well done. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Jim Elliott has been doing socially distanced comedy for years. Yay. (laughs) And scene two, Sharon, thank you very much for coming on board. Have you anything to push on the public? Yeah, can I? uh, I'd like to push some stuff on the public, please. Um, But separately, (laughs) can I say that we do the Dublin Comedy Improv on Zoom on a Monday night. So it doesn't clash with this at all, conveniently enough. So 9 p.m. and it's Dublin Comedy Improv. You'll find us on all the uh, social media channels and you can watch us on Zoom or Facebook Live. Thank you. Fabulous. Fabulous. Jim Elliott. Uh, I'm going to be taking a piss in a houseplant later. (laughs) (laughs) I feel triggered. Hold on, Jim. Hold on, Tom. Jim took the label off. Did you take the label off the chair, Jim? No. Did you? No, still there. Still there. (laughs) It's still brand. I haven't decided if I want to bring it back or not yet. It's been six months. All the fartings could probably could probably smell the seat and know that you've been using it. They're Swedes. They're very, they're very, they're very delicate. They're very, they, they so have very, decorum. Very understanding. They are indeed. This right, is great fun, everybody. Friend, Thanks so for dialing in. Thank you very much for coming on board. Thank you very much for everybody who watched and to all the gang. This has been Bookshot. If you want to listen to any of the folks you saw tonight, they've all been on my podcast, <laughs> aptly named Bookshot. I've been Tom O'Man, your host, and once again, I'd like to thank Professor Gordo for pulling all the buttons and pushing all the pedals in the background till we see you again next week. Good night, thanks. Woohoo! Woo-hoo. Hey guys. Woo-hoo. It'll surprise nobody to learn that I'm bursting for a piss. <laughs>